You're watching WMAR 2 News. I'm Kelly Swoop and these are your WMAR 2 News top stories. It is busy at BWI Thurgood Marshall Airport and not just for the passengers. The airport set a new annual record for cargo operations last year. Nearly 619 million pounds were transported. That is a 4% increase from 2020. BWI's increase in cargo volumes has been fueled by growth of the e-commerce industry during the pandemic and has had a positive impact on the workforce. Passenger traffic through the airport is expected to increase as more international and domestic routes are added, including three recently announced new airlines, Avello Airlines, Iceland Air, and Play Airlines that start service later on this year. Well, happy St. Patrick's Day. People are already celebrating. They've been celebrating all day. This was the, the scene earlier today at the Guinness Open Gate Brewery in Halethorpe. They have been hosting St. Patty's Day celebrations all month long, actually. And today they released a special beer brewed with an Irish barley base, malt grown in Dundalk, Ireland. The brewery is open until 10 tonight, but they have events all weekend to celebrate. And guess what? Celebrating is back at the Preakness. The infield is back. For the first time since 2019, Preakness is expected to be back to normal. That means music on the infield. This year's acts include DJ and producer Marshmello, the Chainsmokers, electric uh, DJ Frank Walker. Preakness is in 64 days, Saturday, May 21st. General admission to the infield is $65, and you can get access to the Mug Club for $85. Moneybag Yo is also going to be performing there too. Baseball is back. Tomorrow the Orioles play their first spring training game. They take on the Toronto Blue Jays at Ed Reed Stadium in Sarasota. Game time, 105. The Orioles will open their season in Tampa Friday, April 8th. Opening day at Camden Yards will be April 11th against the Milwaukee Brewers. And now from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. And we're going to be dealing with some morning fog with temperatures that are going to be manageable. Upper 40s for the drive to work, getting into the 70s as we see more sunshine and southerly flow rule the day. We top out in the low 70s. I expect daytime highs in Baltimore to hit 73, 71 across most of the Mason Dixon line communities, upper 60s down in Easton and Annapolis. And as we head towards your Saturday, We'll warm up even more as we're going to be in the warm sector, expecting a few more clouds and some showers and thunderstorms on the isolated side, but some of them could be strong to severe. Seeing cooler numbers filter in behind the front on Sunday, and then we're back into the upper 60s with lots of sunshine by Monday. Cooler numbers for your Tuesday and Wednesday. Stick with us online at WMER2news.com. All day we'll bring you updates on top stories as well as breaking news. And for news and weather while you're on the go, download the WMER2news app in your app store.